Hello there everybody, this is Bear Power TV here with a World of Warcraft Shadowlands video once again and today we're going to be going over the Arms Warrior so we will be covering the best Covenant, Legendaries, Soulbinds and the Conduits so let's get started. So the first thing we will look at is the best Covenant for the Arms Warrior so you've got two choices, you've got the Venfir and the Carrions. The other two covenants aren't as good as the Venfir and the Carrion abilities that they give you. So with the Venfir, you're going to get the Condemn ability and this will change your Execute into a ability that does shadow damage and you can then use this ability above 80% and below 20. So you're going to get a lot more DPS out of this ability. And then with the Carrions, you have the Spear of Bastion. Now this is excellent for AoE damage, it allows you to pin down a group of targets and provide damage to them as well with the Spear of Bastion. So if I was to recommend which one is which, if you are doing raiding, Condemn is definitely the best because it's good for single target damage and if you are doing Mythic Plus or you are doing the PvP Battlegrounds, the Spear of Bastion is good because of its AoE potential and with the Spear of Bastion, because you can pin down an enemy into a spot, it's great for PvP to stop people running away from you. So the next part of this video is we're going to go over the best Soulbinds for the Kyrians first and then the Venifir later. So you want to check out the timestamp if you want to just skip to the Venifir. So with the Kyrians, you want to go with the guy called Pelagos and the reason for this is you get the abilities Combat Meditation and Let Go of the Past. So you get a nice little mastery bonus for 10 seconds and you also get some good versatility with let go of the past. So you've got some good synergy with the combat meditation with the Spear of Bastion. So I definitely recommend that you go with Pelagos for the Kyrians. So moving on to the Venfir now, we have the character called Nagia the Mistblade, if that's how you pronounce it. And the reason for this is pretty simple you will get two fantastic abilities. The first one is the Frill Seeker, which gives you a pretty strong haste buff. And you also get the Dauntless Duelist, which will be providing you a good little consistent damage increase and a damage reduction with the 3% increase on your target and the 1.5% decrease from them on to you. Now we're going to move on to the Conduits for the Arms Warrior. So your best one that you want to target first is going to be the Crash the Ramparts and it's going to increase your damage for your overpower by 9%. Pretty self-explanatory why you want to get that, that's an amazing increase on your DPS. And another potency conduit that you want to target is the Piercing Verdict. Now this is a Kyrian based conduit so as you can see on screen right now it's going to be increasing the damage and rage generation of your Spear of Bastion by 25%, so it's excellent for the Spear of Bastion. Now for the Endurance Conduit, it's quite a simple choice because it's just so much better. You want to go with the Stalwart Guardian and it's going to reduce your Die by the Sword cooldown by 20 seconds. And the last Conduit is the Finesse one, so you've got two options, you have Inspiring Presence and this will change your rallying cries duration and health granted by increasing them by 20% and the alternative is the safeguard and this will make it so your intervene reduces the damage taken by the target by 8% so it's up to you which one you want but I would probably say you want to go with the inspiring presence. Now we have the final part of the video which is going to be covering the legendaries. One thing to note with the legendaries for Shadowlands is there's quite a large variety so I am going to try and cover some of the best ones that you need to look at but I would recommend that you go and look online for the other legendaries and see which ones might be better for you personally. So the first one you want to target for the Arms Warrior is going to be the Judgment of the Arbiter. 
Now the reason for this is it's going to offer a very high amount of single target damage and it's also got a pretty decent proc rate as well so it offers some really serious damage and because it's got the ability to arc to another player that has this legendary as well it's going to result in some good AoE damage as well. So the second legendary they want to target is the Signet of Tormented Kings. So it has the ability to make your Blaze Storm, Recklessness or Avatar randomly cast one of the other two abilities at a reduced effectiveness. So it's quite an unpredictable legendary, especially if you get Blaze Storm when you're trying to run away. But it's really, really good for AoE damage, so it's excellent for Mythic Plus this one. But as you can see, because it's got the ability to cast Recklessness or Avatar, it's pretty good for single target at the same time. So another legendary that I'm going to highlight is the Echo of ANR, as you can see on screen. So it's got some good little buffs here. So you've got the increased damage by 10%, increased healing or damage reduction by 10% for 10 seconds. But it's also got some good synergy for a group because it can be applied to free allies at a 50% effectiveness. One of the final two legendaries that I'm going to highlight is the Leaper, which is a good movement legendary for the heroic leap charges increase. So you can hop around the battlefield very easily. This is pretty good for battlegrounds and it's also got its uses for Mythic Plus. And the final legendary is the Miss Happen one and this will make your spell reflect last 60% longer and it also applies it to your nearby allies so this is very very good for pvp but it's also got its uses for raiding and mythic plus so it's a good all rounder this one thank you for watching this video on the arms warrior i have put a link in the description for the legendaries if you want to go check out the list which i would strongly recommend you do just to see if there are any legendaries that are interesting for you so please subscribe comment and like the video if you enjoyed it helps me out a lot so i hope to see you again soon and goodbye